All right, guys, so today we are going to be taking a look at the ESR Shift Folio for the iPad Pro 13 inch. Now, this is a magnetic case, so it just magnetizes right into the case itself, and it has a case built in. Now, the price on this one is $55.99, and links will be down in the description below where you guys can check it out for yourself. It comes in a few colors that we'll talk about here shortly, but for now, let's take a look at the packaging. So ESR magnetic case here, you do get a picture of it right there, nine angle stand and raised screen view. So that nine angle stand is gonna have six viewing angles and three writing angles, which you can obviously view or write in all of them, but that's just kind of what ESR thinks those are meant for. I've been using them in all the different angles and it's been absolutely great. And honestly, this may be the best folio, at least as of right now, for the iPad Pro because of how versatile it is. But we'll get a look at that shortly. Let's take a look at the back. So here you do have a little bit of a diagram, what you can do. You can lay it down like this with the little smaller kickstand, the larger kickstand, you can use it in portrait mode and in the regular folio mode. Now, ultra stable for lap use and raised screen view. Now I have used this on my lap before and that is true, it is very stable, especially compared to the Magic Keyboard, which does rock a little bit when it's on your lap or even on some tabletops. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. So you just pull this tab right here and you get it out. It's a little bit heavy and we'll weigh that here shortly, but let's go ahead and put this over here. Now you do get something that says become a super user as per usual from ESR. Get a little QR code right there to get more information or register your product, upgrade a 24 month warranty and all that good stuff. So as soon as you open it up here, you do get a little bit of an installation guide, how to use the pencil holder and how to use the case, but I'll show you guys that in the video. And here we go, we have the case right here and that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and put this box down somewhere and let's take a look. So this is where it flaps open and this is the back of it. So taking a look right here, this is where your little flaps are going to lock into this position. That way you are able to use this case in any of these positions, which is really nice as compared to some standard folios. They only have that little triangle flap that you kind of lay down and you can use it standing or laying down. This one gives you a ton of options. So here you have one, two, three, four, five, six different ledges or uh, ridges that it magnetizes into, but we will take a look at that in a second. You do get a little bit of ESR branding right there. And on the back of it, what I love about this case is you get a pencil holder. So you can put your Apple Pencil in there and you know it's secure. You don't have to worry about it flying out or anything, but it does also magnetize right here on the side of the iPad when you have it connected, which we will take a look at shortly. I'm gonna take this pencil out for right now. And here, taking a look, we do have two flaps. So we have the main flap right here and then also we have this smaller flap. Now this one is what they call for the viewing angles, whereas this one is for the writing angles. But like I said, you can use it in any position, whether you're writing or viewing, and you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Now, one thing about this, it is pretty thick and heavy. So let's actually go ahead and weigh it before we put the iPad in. Now I'm going to weigh it with this case right here, which by the way, this is a completely removable case, which we will talk about shortly as well. I'll weigh it without the case and with the case. That way you guys can kind of gauge exactly how it is. So let's go ahead and bring over our scale. We'll turn this on here. All right, so it's in pounds and ounces, which you might need. This thing is a little bit heavy, but we'll weigh it in grams. Now, like I said, starting off, we will weigh it with this case in here, and then we'll take a look without it. So with the case, we are looking at 752 grams on this case. So it's definitely a little bit heavy, and especially, let's bring over the iPad by itself, and we'll weigh this. We're looking at 643 grams. So it is a little bit heavier than the iPad itself, but let's actually take the case out of here. So we'll go ahead and bring this over here now and weighing it by itself, it's 566 grams. That's kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'm just looking at it right here. 566 grams. Whereas this one by itself weighs 187 grams. Make sure that's right. Yep, 187 grams. So that's pretty much the weight of all that. Now let's check out the thickness of it. So again, without the case, let's go ahead and bring over our caliper here. All right, so without the case, you are looking at 7.7 .7 millimeters thick. So not terribly thick itself, but when you put the case in here, 
me go ahead and just, just magnetize this right onto there. When we do put the case in here, it is 17.2 millimeters thick. So it adds almost 10 millimeters to the folio case itself. So let's go ahead and before we do that, I wanna test something out right here live on camera. I'm gonna take this removable case out and I know some people have asked me whether or not the iPad will just stick to this by itself without the case. And the answer is no, it does not. So it does have a little ledge right here that's trapping it, but this does not stick by itself. So that is something that you are going to have to note when you use this case, you will have to use the actual included case. But speaking of that case, let's go ahead and set the folio part to the side for a second. And let's put this case in. So taking a look at the back, it's just this nice little smooth back right here, slight design in that. And here you do get a camera protection ring. So if you do use it without the folio, you will still be protected. And taking a look at the inside, it's got this very soft material. It's almost like a foam feeling, but it's super, super thin. It's very soft, so you definitely don't have to worry about it scratching up the inside of your iPad. So let's go ahead and take our iPad. We'll put it in here real quick. Let's see, where's that camera bump? So just kind of pop it on on each side here. Nice little click into there. It is a tight fitting case for sure. Oh, I just took a little screenshot, that's great. But anyways, it is a tight fitting case. Now, taking a look at those corners, two, three, four. Now I am using a tempered glass screen protector, which you guys can see that little cutout right there. And it works perfectly fine with it. You have all the edges there, you are good to go. And of course, taking a look, you do have a slight screen lip right there. So if you have to set it down, not that I'd ever recommend setting your iPad down on its screen, but if you have to, you know you have a little bit of protection there. And taking a look at that camera bump, let me find the best angle to do this. You do get a pretty decent camera bump right there. So you can definitely set this on any surface and it'll be good to go, especially if you're somebody who signs a lot of documents or you don't necessarily wanna carry around the folio. You can definitely sit here right on the iPad and it'll be good to go, no rocking at all. So you're good to go with that. All right, now let's take a look at my favorite part, which is the folio. So what we're gonna do is open this up here. Sorry, it may go out of frame a little bit. This thing is massive, the iPad and the case itself. So all it does is just magnetizes there. And as you can see, it's holding it very strongly. I'm lifting it up by this and you are good to go on that end. Now, as soon as it is closed, this does have the auto sleep wake feature that you know just about most folio cases have nowadays. You don't really find too many good folio cases at least that don't have the auto sleep wake feature. So let's take a look around the sides of it. Now starting off with the top, you do have your speaker cutouts, your little microphone hole, and that's the power button. The back edge is completely closed. The bottom you have two more speaker ports as well as your USB type C. And on the right hand side, you have another microphone right there and your spot for the Apple Pencil as well as your volume up and down buttons right there. So just to show, we can open this up and the Apple Pencil, just magnetizes right there. You see it is charging. So that is nice to see that you can keep it right here or you can set it into this little pocket right there. Let me go ahead and find that right there. And you have no issues of storing this Apple Pencil. I personally keep mine up here just because I like to always have it charged and connected. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it away just for the rest of the video. So let's take a look at how it works. Now, usually some folios, they stand opening like this, but this one, you actually flip it back here and here's where we're gonna take a look at the stand. So we'll use the big one first. Now, like I said, you have six slots right here and they are all magnetic. All right, so taking a look at the first flap and it is magnetic into all of these. It'll actually let you pick up the iPad with the stand itself while it's still magnetized. And of course it works the same way with all six of those. So this is the maximum viewing angle you're going to get with this case as far as the big flap. So it is laying down just like this. And this is perfect, especially what I've noticed is if I don't have a keyboard and I'm just typing, this is probably my favorite position to type in because it's a little bit more elevated. So that's really nice. And of course you can use your pencil like this and draw and you can watch your content, move it back in each of the flaps, whichever way you feel comfortable and you'll be good to go. Now we'll close this one and open the smaller flap and this is meant for your three writing positions. So here's the furthest one away. Then you have, 
Oh, it closes its light, so it definitely magnetizes up there. You have the second one, and you have the third one. You can get pretty much any viewing angle that is comfortable with this case. So I've really, really been loving using this folio case because it is super comfortable to use in pretty much any position that you have. Now I'm somebody who watches YouTube a lot or different content in general on my iPad. That's, to be honest with you, that's one of the main reasons I have an iPad. I love to watch content on here and with this OLED screen, it's absolutely beautiful. But either way, I watch it in this position a lot but I do also use my iPad for work a lot and I sign a lot of documents. So when it comes time to sign something, it's nice that you don't have to take your iPad out of the case and lay it down and all that stuff. You literally just pick up your pencil and you start writing. Oh look, we have instant notes. So you just pick it up, start writing, do whatever you need to do on here. When you're done, close it up. You can put your pencil right back here. It magnetizes and quickly switch it right back to your viewing angle of whatever content you're watching and you're good to go with that. So this case is really, really comfortable to use. The only downside for me is that it's a little bit heavy, especially with how light the iPad Pro is. The case definitely adds a bunch of weight to it, but it's not the worst amount of weight in the world based on what you're getting with this case, how much protection you're getting, the use cases of it, the stands, you get the magnet for the Apple Pencil, as well as the little slot back here that you can just put it in and you'll be good to go with that. And it's really great all around. Now, another one of my favorite features, and this is why I think this may be the best folio case for the iPad Pro, is because you can detach this case right here. It, the magnet is very strong on there, so it may be a little bit difficult at first, but you can detach it, use it without it, and you can also lift it up higher and get an even better viewing angle. And look at that, it's still connected and you're good to go. I love that. So if you have an the iPad sitting on a lower desk or a lower whatever you're using, your lap, you can raise it up and you'll be good to go. And if you're someone who types a lot of documents, for example, you don't even have to have it in landscape mode. You can put it in portrait mode and type away. You have your entire Word document or a PDF that you're typing out Whatever you're doing, you'll be good to go with this and you have your whole length of your screen at your disposal as well as it being magnetized up here. And look at that, the iPad is still holding it. The uh, little flap is still holding it when it's raised up in this position. So you have so many different options with this, whether up here, down here, you use it just like this, or you can even take it and like I said, it's a little bit tough to get off you can raise it up, whatever you wanna do, and this thing supports it, it holds it. I absolutely love this folio case. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the colors. Now, like I said, this thing does cost $55.99. Links will be down in the description below, and it's gonna come in a few different colors. So it's gonna come in this black, it's gonna come in blue, purple, brown, and red. So you get a bunch of different color options, whatever your favorite color is, you can use that. You got a bunch of different writing positions and reading positions or viewing and writing, whatever you wanna call it. Nine different positions, detachable case, so you don't even need to bring the folio with you if you don't want to and you'll still have protection. All of that good stuff, for that price, I have to say this is definitely worth it. I really, really been enjoying this case. This is probably going to be my number one folio case for this iPad Pro because of how versatile it is, how comfortable it is to use, and how protective it is. So with all that being said, guys, this is the ESR Shift Magnetic Case for the iPad Pro 13 inch. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and if you're interested in seeing a great alternative to the Magic Keyboard from ESR, I'll leave that video right there.